Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have Team Kevin Owens versus Team Roman Reigns. I cannot wait. came to me before the broadcast and wanted me to inform everyone that this is now the Kevin Owens Show. Yes, I can't wait to be a part of that. All the budding tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage better be watching this match with a notepad in hand because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. the impact. Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's Man. exactly what he's getting. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. Well, this Man. certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. Oh, what a slam. It looks like Kevin Owens getting pushed to the limits here. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against the welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. He has something big planned. Big backdrop. Roman Reigns seems helpless. Now in full control. Who just dropped. He's in control. Roman. Oh, but he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? What's he going to do with it? Oh, man, Roman Reigns is really feeling the pressure. Wow, Roman Reigns is being controlled. Harsh impact. What's he got in mind? Oh, impactful slam. He caught him slipping. Sharp knee. He's in big trouble. Axe handle finds the mark. The Undertaker looking to bury another victim. Kevin Owens came up in his career with many current 
WWE superstars, and he felt like he was left behind and has carried a chip on his shoulder ever since. That's right, Michael. Owen sees all the superstars he came up with as guys who have cut the line in front of him for opportunities in WWE. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Byron, contrary to what you said on Kevin Owens' mindset towards opportunities in WWE, Owens has main evented pay-per-views and held multiple championships. Key word there, Cole, is held. Past tense. Kevin Owens is the type of superstar who should always be in contention for titles. WWE can be a place of injustice, and unfortunately, Kevin Owens has been on the raw side of the deal on too many occasions. Slammed with authority. Boom, what impact. Kevin Owens being pressed hard. Big time impact from way up high. This is gonna be bad for The Undertaker. Scoop slam! Oh, well, here we go. The dead man has to find a way to stop this offense. Undertaker's in trouble. Folks, The Undertaker being controlled now. Oh, leg sweep. Nicely done. This is not going to end well for The Undertaker. Boom! This is going to be bad for The Undertaker. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is The New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kobe Kingston are two-time tag team champions but it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever, and what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 days. Often known as a land of opportunity when Sami Zayn became a part of the SmackDown Live roster, it was a chance for a fresh start. Yeah, but eventually Zayn admitted... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has suddenly shifted here, Michael. Ooh! With Sami Zayn's perspective of a SmackDown lock, counter here. Showing off some of his speed there. Here we go. Kevin Owens is setting it up. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Over the years, we've come to expect these bursts of greatness from him. Here we go. The Undertaker is setting it up. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Choke slam! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys. Got the shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? This is amazing. Undertaker can sense he's got the upper hand, feeling good about his chances. Oh, my good tombstone. Pile driver. This one's over. Shoulders on the mat. That's how you wear down your opponent. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. 
Undertaker should get his head into the match instead of trying to get in other people's heads. Looking for the finish. He's, wow, I thought he was a goner. A quick reversal by Kevin Owens. And up the tag is Sami Zayn. Oh, that was a vicious shot. This is going to frustrate Sami Zayn. Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Suplex. He's in full control now. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. Continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Being a sports entertainer for over 25 years will take a toll on anybody's body, yet The Undertaker continues to defy logic. Yeah, and he continues to silence any doubters. So many have asked, has The Undertaker lost a step? And that, guys, may be the most dangerous... Uh-oh, uh-oh! The wrong way up! Oh, my God! Is it enough to put Sami Zayn away? Byron brings up the question of Undertaker losing a step, and it seems as if the notion is constantly tested. Challengers continue to rule the dead man out. No one allows him to rest in peace. Everyone wants to see if the demon... Oh, my good Moonstone! Is it enough to put Sami Zayn away? And a quick cover from The Undertaker. What an incredible tag team contest. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here are your winners, Roman Reigns and The Undertaker. Big win here to start the show. If these guys choose to stay together, they have all the makings of being one of the best duos WWE has ever seen. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Buckle up, because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. It's Team Curtis Axel against the Revival. Big time matchup. This matchup about to get started, and they just attacked him from behind. Yeah, I mean, this is ridiculous. You guys didn't even have a chance. The bell hasn't even rung yet. Back in from the floor. Bringing it back into the ring. There it comes, jarring impact. Oh, an elbow drop. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Beautiful technique. That's how you wear down your opponent. Just 
breaking down the opponent. There it comes. Rude awakening! Belly to belly! Vicious. Scott Dawson looks to be in some pretty bad trouble here. How can he get out of this mess? When the WWE Universe first saw Curtis Axel, he competed under a different name during the second season of NXT. After seeing him in the Nexus faction and later win a WWE Tag Team Gold, we learned that this man was Curtis Axel, a third-generation superstar ready to take WWE by storm. Inching closer to his... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. Corey, before you talk about Curtis Axel and his background, I'll take it a step further. Axel is the son of WWE Hall of Famer Mr. Perfect and the grandson of legendary powerhouse Larry the Axe Hennig. Over the past couple of years, Curtis Axel has been a part of some of the top contending tag teams, and he's one of the more vocal members of the faction, the Social Outcasts. Axel insists his future is bright, and I believe the third generation superstar. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Uh-oh, what's this? Curtis Axel is in all kinds of trouble. Oh, man, Curtis Axel is really feeling the pressure. Oh, what impact. What have we got here? Big trouble for Curtis Axel. Neck breaker. Uh-oh, what's this? Curtis Axel is in all kinds of trouble. Oh, man, Curtis Axel is really feeling the pressure. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Nailed it. Oh, man, Curtis Axel is really feeling the pressure. Knee drop. He's in control. Here goes Curtis Axel. Oh, man, Curtis Axel is really feeling the pressure. Look at this. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Big trouble for Curtis Axel. Oh, man, Curtis Axel is really feeling the pressure. Down goes the referee. There was just no getting out of the way on that one. Larian. From Tag, and here comes his partner. And this is not going to be good for their opponent. Not Scott Dawson's not. He's got him covered. Pin's broken up. I can't believe it. We got a cover. What? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Dawson's showing just how tough he really is with that kick out. I earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gloria Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Be it. He's got a boatload of energy. Let's see if it lasts. Slam! You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, he's such a tough target. The end, maybe. The boat dazzler. Here's his moment, Michael. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Oh, what a chop block! He goes for the cover. They did it! Wow, what a match!
Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Here are your winners, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas, the B Team. Put it in the books, and there was no question about that one. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. decorated NCAA amateur wrestling background at Kent State University. The show-off possesses cardiovascular conditioning that is without equal. Ziggler is here to show the world just how good he is, yeah. and he's ready to steal the show. You know, with that attitude to give him the moniker of the show-off, but you've got to respect the guy who isn't afraid to lay it all on the line and bet on himself. slow Drew McIntyre down a bit, but he's not appearing too worse for wear, at least not yet anyway. Well, he oh. had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. This thing nice. appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys, and you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Incredible impact! Dolph Ziggler shows his true agility and strength when he nails an opponent with the zigzag. Ziggler can drop an opponent with that move from almost any angle. What a stomp! Good grief! Drew McIntyre beginning to look a little uneasy. You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. Yes. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in him. One of the most impressive things about Zigzag from Dolph is that he's able to send opponents of any size crashing down to the canvas. Dolph Ziggler has so many physical tools, the man can finish off an opponent in several ways. That makes the Zigzag that much more dangerous as a finishing maneuver. Ring rattling! When this guy's on, look out. Big time slam! Vicious. Snapmare. Oh, and a snapmare! That'll give you whiplash. Not the fall that hurts, it's the sudden stop at the end. Not sure how much more McIntyre can take. I can promise oh, it's man. not much. Ziggler with the famous sir. That should do it. Looking for the finish. Counter here. And there's the reversal from Drew McIntyre. Damn it. Call your friends, let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. Ooh, what impact. Oh, jeez, look at Drew McIntyre's face. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. Hey, the ring has shifted. Now look at this, guys. Let the head games begin. From behind. You got him, both shoulders are down. 
This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Plenty of fight left. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh boy, he hit the blatant disrespect for the officiating. Gets this one waved off. If their love wasn't apparent during that entrance, the WWE Universe is firmly behind Finn Balor. And man, I oh. never get tired of watching these guys compete. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. But the head scissors are fine. Oh, oh, man, that's just nasty. What's it going to be? Suplex! <laughs> Hooked up. Slam down hard. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! We see Jason Jordan nod his heels a bit here. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. You see more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Big move coming. Vertical suplex. Nice. Oh, what's this? Finn Balor is in all kinds of trouble. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! Something big is coming. Wow, what a sequence! Yeah, that was amazing! Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Jason Jordan groggy and wide open here. What's he got in mind? This could mean trouble. Wow, Finn Balor is being controlled. Close line! Well, oh, that'll leave a mark. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. Oof. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, oh, momentum man. has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid it. And knowing him the way I do, I'm willing to bet he thought he was going to get through this match unscathed. But that obviously is not the case here. Jason Jordan being pressed hard. To me, the most dangerous part of Finn Balor's coup de grace finisher is that Balor can crush an opponent with it from anywhere. Balor can fly from the top rope, the ring apron, heck, even off a ladder. And the slam! Watch this here. Oh, man, Finn Balor is really feeling the pressure. Down 19-16. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Jeez, I felt that one over here. Corey, what you talked about earlier is crucial for the success of a superstar's finish. Finn Balor destroys his opponents with a coup de grace and can do so in many ways. Something else that makes Finn Balor's coup de grace so dangerous is that no matter how big you are, strong you are, or how quick you are, Balor can land it on anyone, and when he does, it's over. Wow, Finn Balor is being controlled. Oh man, Finn Balor is really feeling the pressure. Oh, incredible height. Big trouble for Finn Balor. He caught him slipping. Oh, kick to the face. He has something big planned. Wow, Finn Balor is being controlled. He might have it. Oh, what's this? Finn Balor is in all kinds of trouble.
He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. Oh, what impact! Guys, endurance is a trait needed in every match, but you need an incredible amount to last as long as Finn Balor did. Hooked up. Oh, 1916. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Putting it all on the line. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Hootie Gras. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Byron's still in awe of Finn Balor's Royal Rumble performance, and I agree. Finn lasted for over 57 minutes. A figure that puts him high in the record book. Something the kid from across the Irish Sea can show any doubters. That display of endurance is a great example of why Balor is an extraordinary man who can do extraordinary things. His track record proves that doubting him on accomplishing the... Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Coup de grace. Jason Jordan getting absolutely assaulted in there. And here we go. Finn Balor with the cover. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening bell. Here is your winner. Can't complain about the effort, technical proficiency, or result. Here. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Definitely a fan favorite. Definitely a fan favorite. No love between these superstars, that's for sure. Bad doesn't even begin to describe the blood between these superstars. One of the most popular superstars in the WWE, no question. Definitely a fan favorite. doesn't even begin to describe the blood between these superstars. Not showing a lot of respect, that's for sure.
Next time they might want to spice that promo up a bit, huh? As far as production values and message, not sure what to make of that. Not exactly. Done with one and on to another great matchup. Singles match coming up next. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome of the term lone wolf. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. He's got him here. He's got a sidewalk slam. Almost drove him through the ring. Raw power in play. <laughs> Duplex. What does Baron Corbin need to do now? He can't be happy with how this is going right now. If he Ouch. wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. <laughs> Suplex. Terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. Militant. Boom! Baron Corbin's just too fast for him. Oh, close line! Given Baron Corbin's size, strength, and striking ability, an opponent must try to always be moving and keep the lone wolf off balance. And by the way, good luck with that. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Oh my lord, what a strike. What a stomp. Good grief. Harsh impact. Power, agility, toughness in a massive six foot eight, 275 pound frame means there's a lot. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh my gosh, from what heights. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Oh, what a chop to the side of the face. He's done. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Too quick for him there. And here's the monster among men. Corey, look at the power. Hellacious power slam. This one's over, guys. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. And look at vertical suplex. Nice. Oh, what a splash. This might be it. Oh, my. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. Just when you thought he had nothing left. I don't know if Corbin can recover. I hate to agree with you, but you're right. Oh, hellacious power slam. This might be the end of Corbin. <laughs> Pin attempt. The match is over. That's all she wrote.
Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, but never quite lived up to all the hype. Good match overall. They proved who the better competitor was tonight. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud. Technique. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Boom! <laughs> you gotta believe this one's over. Oh no! Sunset bomb! Wow! Uh-oh, harsh impact. Thunderous slam. There's a fisherman suplex. This might be it. Oh, my. Is he done? John Cena is one of the greatest, and he somehow fights his way free. Lucky for him, that looked devastating. And yeah, look at the quickness by Cena. John Cena's going up. Look out! Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, a piercing elbow. Byron, you spoke before about John Cena's verbal acumen matching his wrestling skills, and we've seen that in practice a lot lately. His in-ring battle with Roman Reigns was accentuated by Cena shooting straight about Reigns' failings. Gentlemen, I think the biggest feather in Cena's speaking cap is that he got the WWE Universe to boo The Undertaker by repeatedly calling out the dead man ahead of WrestleMania. Now that is microphone mastery. This is going to frustrate John Cena. This doesn't look good for Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is locked up. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Cena ready to close it out. You can't see me. And the five-knuckle shuffle. Boom! Can he finish the job? Brock Lesnar's just getting overwhelmed. Here he goes. Attitude adjustment. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. But can John Cena capitalize? Lesnar looks to be finally feeling the effects of this attack. Cena's now showing signs of fatigue. Oh, nice. He's in full control now. What's he got in mind? Ooh. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness, crushing it. Kicks out in time. Not yet. Gonna lock it in here. Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael.
And look at the quickness by Cena. He has something big planned. Oh, oh. Leg sweep. Nicely done. A lot of damage taken on by Lesnar. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. Don't count the beast out yet. There may be no coming back from this. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm his opponent, I'm thinking about putting him out of his misery sooner than later. John Cena being pressed hard. Last drop. Oh, nasty. Oh, no. John Cena got outclassed. Wait a minute. Stamina. See if it lasts here. Oh boy, Byron, it's time for your favorite thing. I'm ready, Corey. Are you? Are you ready for the five knuckle shuffle? Boom! That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's not going to like this. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. Nailed it. Wow, I gotta say that I'm in shock. I really thought Lesnar would look better here tonight. John Cena is taking charge of this match. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. Brock Lesnar is in a real bad spot here. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. He's looking at it. Oh, oh, right to the back. This one, shoulders on the back. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. His shoulders are down. John Cena wins! Big match, John strikes again. Let's take another look at these guys in action. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the winner, opening bell John and a finish people won't Cena. soon forget. This one's over, folks. John Cena picks up the win. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying.